बेटर है उन लोगों को बोलते हैं तो बेटर है तो वरन स्टार्जन सो हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल सो वेलकम टू द ओरिएंटेशन सेशन ऑफ हाउ टू क्रैक preliminary examination and this particular orientation will give you a glimpse that what we are going to do and how the things are going to be followed during the course of this particular 100% crack the prelims of 2023 so as everyone know like my name is vijay kumar who deals geography and environment so within this 100% prelims course also i am going to deal the geography sessions and environment sessions so somewhere around 25 sessions totally so totally you will be having a bunch of 25 hours eight sessions of geography and five sessions of ecology and environment so this is the course involvement where you will be having totally 25 hours approximately so it's not like we can exactly fit like a jigsaw puzzle so there might be some extra sessions also depending upon the requirement and people who are going to prepare who are going to attempt already the notification has been released so this particular course will be helping them a lot so in what ways it would be helping already in the earlier orientation sessions vishnu sir and santosh sir has said it like how this particular ashtanga marg is going to give you a path to reach masori so earlier faculties like they were saying this ashtanga marg will be giving you a path to crack preliminary examination but i will say this ashtanga marg will give you a road directly to masori because like to reach masori there are three different stages stage number 1 prelims stage number 2 mains third is personality test so as this is one first kind of step where you should not commit any mistake so to avoid those particular mistakes this ashtang marg would be helping you and many aspirants have the enthusiasm of giving the prelims and cracking the prelims but it is not everyone's cup of tea unless and until they are rightly guided so right path right guidance and the right walk will make you success in this particular preliminary examination and already the rest of the course details have been given to you here in this session i am only sticking myself to geography and environment related aspects and i am going to build you a confidence just after one hours of one one hour of session after this session you will be 100% gaining confidence that yes we are going to crack questions from geography and environment and i am not criticizing the rest of the subjects but i am giving some prior importance to geography and environment the reason behind it is it is also the common examination for indian forest services 
where generally this preliminary examination is common for forest services and civil services, right? So that makes geography and environment to sit on the top of the table. Are you getting this point? So you can ask me, sir, how many questions are going to come from this particular geography and environment? So my answer is, what would be your answer? 15, 20, 25, somewhere near closer. Yes or no? My answer is zero to hundred. Because like we can't priorly guess how many questions exactly would be coming from this session. Only thing is, if we prepare this constantly, we can attempt maximum questions. And what is your prior target? What is the number which you want to get? What is the number? Like, sir, I'm trying to score these many marks in my prelims so that there is a high chance that I will clear this preliminary examination. What is the number figure which you have? 100 plus. If the cutoff would be 120. So 100 plus, somewhere near closer to it, right? So this is my prior promise. I'm saying it on record and this will be live and this video would be available. Once you finish this particular Ashtang Mark course, 100% prelim scores, you are going to score 120 plus if you rigorously follow it. Only thing is you have to rigorously follow it. Follow it very rigorously. Whatever things the faculty would be saying, follow it rigorously for this next upcoming three months. On the day when you write the preliminary examination on May 28th, then after the examination, you will realize what enlightenment. So I call it as Nirvana. How Gautam Buddha, when he has walked across the road, he came across with a deceased person. He has seen one dead body. So while he has seen, he has realized that my life is nothing. And he went on path for salvation. And at Bodhgaya tree, how you have, how the Gautam Buddha has realized and he was enlightened. Under this Ashtang mark, you will also be enlightened. You will also be enlightened. So this is path of Nirvana for you. You know about path of Nirvana. Everyone know about it, right? So that Nirvana you are going to attain here. Sir, is it true that like you might have learnt geography for some 100 hours, right? While your course, when you have, might have took the coaching, you might have did it for 100 hours. Sir, how would you compress those particular 100 hours into this particular eight sessions? This is the biggest task. And you might have read environment somewhere around by 40, 50 hours, right? Sir, how you are going to comprise, compress this particular aspect of environment into five sessions? Here lies the beauty of UPSC. Last year, this was the same time. I have made an open challenge to the aspirants that if this year Ramsar convention question, if it is not present in the paper, I said students to tear the paper off and come. I'll, I have said them even that I'll give you a blank check. Jitna likhna hai, utna liklo. Matlab, sir, how come you have said that particular aspect? Because I have the guessing ability. Sir, how you have guessing ability? Are you from any other planet? No. Because of failures in this UPSC, because of mentoring lacks of students, online and offline, I have gained that particular confidence and I have the ability of guessing the questions. That is my major role which I am going to play. So from those particular certain areas where questions are going to come. For example, recently many Ramsar sites were added. In the last year alone itself, 26 Ramsar sites since the last six months they have added. And this government has did it just because to check that uh, Azad ka Amrit Mahotsav to match that 75 Ramsar sites with that. So priorly we can guess a question from Ramsar site. So in this way, during this particular sessions, there are three things which would be which I would be covering personally for geography and environment. One, point number one, what are the things which I am going to do in this particular session is rapid revision. So 
rapid revision you know right i am not going to say anything in a detailed way like see indus river starts at mansarovar flows in northwestern direction it is joined by dhar river skardu would be near skardu it would be joined by shok river gilgit zyobgomal turram kochi kabul jhelum chenab ravi bia satla jhelum originates at very so this is not a rapid revision see you have indus river everyone know about it these are the tributaries everyone know about it please try to remember these particular points of indus chances are very high that question is going to come from that particular indus river i'll show you the pictureization of this particular indus river and i'll show what are the blobbing points which i would be doing so generally whenever i do the rapid revision i will create the question spontaneously so generally whenever this rapid revision happens in the course i will create some questions on spot like consider the following statement regarding with the indus tributaries indus tributary like that is chenab originates as chendra and bhaga chendra originates from bhara lapchala bhaga originates from jogila pass option 1 correct 1 and 2 correct 1 and 3 correct 1 2 3 correct so in this way spontaneity of question i would be generating and i am not only going to give you one or two set of question so here what i will be doing is i will be dividing the questions in different grades grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 type of questions from the topic and i'll make you to understand the thing that acha matlab is taraf se bhi question aa sakta hai you might not have read that particular topic in that regard see many people whenever they tend to read about ramsar sites so we have 75 ramsar sites people read everything related with ramsar site 75 ka 75 yaad rakhenge 75 ko 75 yaad rakhenge they will remember every state ramsar sites even they know what is the amount of grass present in kibul lamjo national park at loktak lake the weight of the dry weight of that particular grass did must they will learn finally they will miss one thing and i'll say that particular missed thing by aspirant so here during the rapid revision spontaneity of the questions from where questions tend to come sir from where you are going to calculate the spontaneity uh, spontaneity of question is by reading mindset of examiner this i am going to do after all a decade failure of mine i take it a privilege that finally aapko kya mila एक डायलॉग है आई थिंक सो इट वाज इन शाहरुख खान मूवी जिंदगी में सफलता के लिए आपको मेहनत करना पड़ेगा फॉर सक्सेस यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड इधर यू विल सक्सीड और यू विल बी एक्सपीरियंस्ड सो आई मे नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल पर्सन बट आई एम एक्सपीरियंस्ड आई कैन रीड द माइंड ऑफ द एग्जामिनर ऑन वॉट बेसिस दट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन हैज कम generally examiner won't give that particular question just because that question was important topic in the indian history or indian geography he will be giving that particular question because that was in debate continuously in the news that's the reason where from where the question generally tends to come and recently our big sister nirmala sitaraman ji has given the largest budget she also took the name of ramsar sites saying it privileged that ramsar sites to pehle 2014 se pehle 28 the abhi 75 ban gaye so that one link is more than enough for an examiner to create a question like spontaneously i will be creating questions over here by reading the mind of the examiner this is rapid revision which where you will have spontaneity of questions which i'll be creating so that you can understand that particular thing you might have read it already you might have read indus river system ganga river system indian climate and everything but you might not have noted that particular point which examiner would calculate so that particular missed point by you i will be calculating it for example in ramsar sites everyone will be reading anything and the question comes like in which of the following states ramsar sites are not available jharkhand chatisgarh sikkim 
Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh. In these states, Ramsar sites are not available. So if we ask the question, by seeing the question, we will feel happy because we have read Ramsar Convention. That huh, Ramsar Convention, we have question usme se aaya. But no one will read about in which states Ramsar sites are not there. So that critical points along the rapid revision, I will be guessing the questions. I will be nodding the points and I will say you some critical nod points, which you might have missed for sure. No doubt at all. 99% of the aspirants might have missed certain nod points. Those particular nod points I would be saying you. So this is one rapid revision which is involved in the course while we discuss the lecture. Second thing which we would be doing is on this particular topic, did any question appeared in UPSC already? Previous year questions. So either in the initial lecture of session, in the first session itself, we tend to discuss the previous year questions. And just by seeing previous year question, it doesn't give you any sense. Many people generally take that Disha publication book of previous year, last 25 year paper. Every aspirant will buy it. Yes or no? So that is almost like anyone who is living on this world, if he has to wear clothes in the similar way, aspirant will 100% buy the book of Disha publication to have that 25 year of previous year question. And aspirant solves every previous year question and he thinks that now he will become an IAS or IPS directly by solving previous year questions. See, by seeing previous year questions or solving previous year question, nothing is going to make any sense out of it. But why this particular previous year question was asked? If you drag that particular logic, you will get the logic of future. See, generally what climatologists would be doing, meteorologists, they will study about the past climate. Why? Just to prepare any book. Uh, to predict future. So we are seeing this previous year questions and the nod associated with it to predict the future questions. So this previous year questions will further give us some expected questions. And this is very interesting. I will expect, you will also expect and many faculties all over India will expect. But the only thing is, finally, who has won the race? Ghoda jo asal mein bhaagta hai, the horse which will win, run very fastly, that doesn't make any sense. The horse which has run on that particular day, that is going to give you sense. So those kind of some expected questions would be delivered. So rapid revision in that question spontaneity, spontaneously we will be creating questions and we are going to see the previous year questions nod, not previous year question, the nod from where the question has come and we are going to see the expected, expect the unexpected under unexpected public service commission and unpredictable service, public service commission. Generally, I call UPSC as unpredictable service commission because it will give the unpredicted. So that unpredicted, we are going to reveal it out. Are you getting this point? So this is how rapid revision, critical nod points and those facts which you might have left out, those points would be calculated very effectively. You will have a glimpse of previous year question and you will also get some expectedness of that particular UPSC. This is the sequence which we are going to follow. And this particular course which we are going to deal out, that course also have inclusion of map based work. Those particular critical points from where questions tend to come from map. There was one question on this particular map based aspect. Like if you are traveling from Kohima to Kotayam, 
what is the minimum number of states which would be coming across including the origin and destination so this critical point is not present in any ncert any majid hussain or any kuller book so how to calculate these particular map based techniques and along with that we also would be seeing some mnemonics to remember for example caspian sea in and around caspian sea and black sea there is a mnemonic and the mnemonic is called as t burger regarding with the black sea t burger is a very rare combination which people generally tend to do generally coke with the burger is the most important combination which they use but t burger turkey bulgaria ukraine russia georgia romania t burger in this way caspian sea azerbaijan all india ktr azerbaijan kazakhstan turkmenistan russia ai ktr all india ktr so in this way we shall build some mnemonics and we shall be calculating those particular critical points and how to give a map based aspect you might have seen indian map many times many times and even your study halls and your residential rooms where do you stay you might have pasted indian maps and world maps already by creating a room for the upsc aspirant but you might have missed lots of points if there is a question in this way the latitude which passes from jaipur will also pass through the latitude which passes through new delhi will also pass through the longitude which passes through delhi is closer for which of the following cities indian standard time is very closer to which of the following city last time they have asked kohima to kottayam this time they might ask jaipur to aizwal so no so these kind of questions map based questions countries which are bordering mediterranean sea last time afghanistan question was there on record just go and check the youtube video of vijay kumar's map pointing work last year in 2021 everyone like when taliban has captured afghanistan everyone was reading about the polity of afghanistan afghanistan capital afghanistan ka parliament ka paisa india ne diya matlab everyone was reading this but maine bola afghanistan ka geography ke upar question aayega and the same question has arrived the countries which are sharing border with afghanistan so in this way map based work is also included in this particular session i will take this map based work including geography and environment because in environment also there is necessity that you have to mark different national parks wildlife sanctuaries biosphere reserves so that particular aspect would also be involved in the geography effective map based work not simply map based work effective map based work many times upsc have this habit of asking the map based questions so what kind of questions can be expected from that that we are going to see in this particular session okay so one is rapid revision in that critical nod points i would be giving you where you might have missed and we will be creating questions spontaneously grade 1 2 3 4 question and we will also see what questions have appeared and why that question has appeared in upsc and we will expect some questions and we will critically focus on those areas from where questions are going to come see is this that necessary in this geography session to read about the population of india population of india no chances are very least but it is highly important that you learn about natural vegetation of india so those focus areas where you have to focus those particular points would be calculated so those critical core zones of geography from where questions generally tend to come 
those particular aspects would be compensated. And last but not the least, those particular focus areas from where questions generally tend to come in UPSC, that is, if this particular course structure within this total 13 sessions approximately, approximately 13 sessions, I will also focus on contemporary based aspects. Contemporary based geography plus environment. So those particular aspects generally somewhere around 15 month of calculation of current affair is required. So that any question coming from that particular zone, you may attempt it very effectively. So somewhere, let's say on May 28th, we have exam. So the paper might have prepared somewhere around in the last week of April itself. So it means they are not going to post that particular questions of current affairs post that last week of April. So we are going to try to go one, one end of year back into the current affair. And we are going to see those particular topics. Once we are dealt with this rapid revision topics. So I'll be giving you some emphasis that see this particular thing was in news. Please try to focus on that. There are chances that this predictability would be there. So those kind of contemporary based aspects which were present in geography as well as environment. We are going to critically focus on that contemporary aspect itself. First, though, we have to understand static. The rapid revision of static will be done. Second, contemporary would be at the last. Initially, it won't take contemporary based aspect. At the last stage, when you are filled with knowledge of geography, now the time comes for the implementation. So that implementation will happen from this contemporary based and current issues that we are going to focus at the last. Contemporary based and clear prioritized topics. There are certain topics which I call it as critically endangered topics, which I generally use a word for environment. So those critically endangered topics, I'm going to make you and give you a list that there are chances that questions are going to come from this regard. Are you getting this point? Okay. So this is how the entire course would be running. So don't know somewhere around by March 10th, initially you might have the starting of polity history. Later the polity history, the third slot might be of geography and environment. That might somewhere come around in March 15th phase. So during that era, we are going to discuss this. And my prior aim, sir, what is your aim by this Ashtang mark? My prior aim for this Ashtang mark is to make you crack at least 80% questions in the preliminary examinations perfectly. I am not saying it as 100% question. Prelims you will crack 100%. But I am not saying it as I will make you crack 100% of questions. My target would be 80 and it will be fulfilled for sure. We will discuss the same on May 28th also. If I say it 100%, if anyone say it 100%, that is bluff. If I say you like, if 20 questions are going to come, 20 ka 20, sare ke sare, aap mere classes suno and you will crack, that will be a bluff thing. I don't want to bluff you. I want to be more logical and practical with you. So if say some 20 questions have come from geography and environment, with this particular session, there is a greater availability and chance that you will crack more than 15 questions. More than 15 for sure. Ye to promise kar sakta hume. More than 15. Out of 20. Let's say if 20 questions have come. More than 15 you can crack once you follow this particular session of Ashtang mark. For geography and environment. Are you getting this point? And now generally if you see the past trend of questions. So in 2013, when the syllabus got changed for the mains, priority started getting on environment as well. So in general sense, how the questions are going to come from this particular block? Generally, whenever I see these subjects, which questions have appeared in the past last 10 years, if you prioritize and see, 
I will create a block for you, and that block is geography, ecology, environment, plus agriculture, plus disaster management, overall compensated with current affairs. This is one block which we are going to see completely. That is geography, environment, ecology portion, agriculture portion, disaster management. So here compensatory aspects of all this will only give you a strength of cracking a question. Because generally, what are the types of questions which generally appear from geography and environment? If you go and check the past trends, how the questions are going to come. Type number one, from geography, environment, agriculture, disaster management, type one basis of questions which are going to come is purely static and conceptual. The first type of question which is going to come, it is purely static and conceptual. If you know that particular topic, if you are clear with that particular topic, if that concept is clear, like let's say the concept of volcanism or the concept of hotspot volcanism or the concept of plate tectonics theory, you might have knowing, you might know these particular theories, right? So plates generally tend to move. Earthquakes, landform formation by rivers or the concept of pressure belts, high pressures, low pressure areas, equatorial low pressure belt, concept of ITCZ, doldrums belt, horse latitudes, cyclonic formations. So these are static and conceptual based questions, which generally tend to come. And they never change. Concepts never change. So whenever you are very good with that particular concept, chances would be very great that you will be solving these kind of questions with effective rapid rate. So this is first block of the Ashtang Marg for geography. That prioritizely you have to be very clear with that particular conceptual clarity. And through rapid revision, I'll make sure that your conceptual clarity would be getting revised and any doubts which you would be facing in between, you can be deliberately asking that. Okay. And second basis of question comes from definitions. And these definitions are mostly focused in ecology. The ecological niche, which is the most important component of the ecosystem, best described as recently Carbon green tax was in news that refers to blue economy in the context which was there in the news recently refers to the best portion of earth surface is lithosphere. Lithosphere can be best described as Or during the calculation of agriculture, we use a concept called as agriculture productivity, which of the following implies the best description. Whenever we take, when we, whenever we can measure the earthquake, we measure it with magnitude and intensity. What does it that imply? What is the best difference which can be seen between National Park and Wildlife Century? So these kind of definitions they would be asking. People generally neglect them. So questions generally tend to come from definitions and during the discussion of the rapid revision topics, we are going to find out the definitions of different topics. And that definitions will make sure that the topics and the questions which generally come from that, they can be addressed. Okay. Third type of question. Third basis of type of question, which generally comes. Just a minute.
Mr. Gullapudi Kumar, the highest peak of India is K2, despite it falls under Pakistan occupied Kashmir. Kanchanjanga is the highest peak in Himalayas. K2 is highest peak of India. So, why it is highest peak, I'll say there. I won't reveal here. Because, like, if I reveal here, then you won't come to Ashtang Marg. You will not be in a position to crack civil services preliminary examination. So, I will not reveal any answer here. Why it is, I'll reveal there. Okay. Now, if I reveal it, then KGF part 2 ka jo hal hai, wo hoga. Hai na? Movie ka trailer dikhata hoon. Movie thodi dikhata hoon. I will not say the what is pulse of movie. Okay. So, agar mein pulse bata diya, to KGF mein Rocky Bay rehe ke fayda kya hai? Hai na? So, first one is static. Second is definition based. Third is current. Purely current. Recently, in the COP 27th summit, there was a term which was used as um, mangrove, mangrove plus. There was a term which was used as mangrove plus, like pro plus and mangrove plus. What does it imply? Recently, Golan Heights was in news. In which of the following region you will be finding? Russia and Ukraine recently came with one particular agreement on their political border. Which of the following are the borders which were declared? So, purely current based question. Recently, government has declared one of the following sites as UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. One of the government have notified it to UNESCO to declare it as World Heritage Site. And this particular heritage site is located in which of the following regions? Recently, government has took up a project of Clean Ganga Mission under National Ganga River Basin Authority. So what are the major aspects included in Clean Ganga Mission? Do you think Majid Hussain book will have Clean Ganga Mission? Mala? No. Recently, Western Guards have seen with a new species of caterpillar. So which of the following is related to it? Recently, a new species of crocodile was found. So, which of the following is referred above? Means purely current. If you are not aware with current affair, then you have to turn east and Surya Namaskar karke wapas aana padega. So, it has, it depends upon you that you have read the newspaper for the past one year or not. Hope you have read it, thinking that you have read it. But I will help you in this regard, no issues. Maximum mere jitna ho sakta hai, jitna mein kar sakta hu, I will be doing it for sure for you guys. So that kind of current based questions would be coming. Okay. And difficulty starts here. Ab tak to thik ta. Ab tak to pura thik ta. When we know static, when we have read current affair or when we know the definitions. To ye aisa hai na like those particular kids who are uh, the matlab ye bolte na ye baap ka bachcha hai ye maa ka bachcha hai matlab hindi mein aisa kaavat hota hai clear so he is a parental kid isko kuch pata nahi hai what those parental kids generally do school gaye ghar aaye homework kiye class mein first rank laye mummy papa summer mein cycle dila diye cricket bat dila diye 4:30 ko ground mein aaye 6:30 exact ki mummy bulaye 6:30 को घर गए बूस्ट पिए रात में 8 बजे खाना खाए सो गए सुबह 5 बजे उठे अच्छे से पढ़ लिए अच्छे मार्क लिए अच्छे रिश्ते लाए अच्छे गवर्नमेंट जॉब ईएमए में कार लिए घर लिए देन दे विल डाई फाइनली एट 60 ईयर तो इवन दोस किड्स विल क्रैक दिस क्वेश्चन मतलब बाप का जो अभी-अभी दूध पीने वाला बच्चा क्लियर so, Bab ka bacha, maa ka bacha, jo serilak ke liye wala bacha. Maybe some people eat serilak now also. So, they will also solve this. So, usme hamare mein antar kya hai? Those kiddie people and our mass accumulation. Apne antar kya hai? There should be some difference between normal person and rocky bai. Otherwise, why rocky bai will rule the world? Yes or no? Kejo part 3 mein he will rule the world. 
that is what the script they are designing so there should be some difference right between them and there should be some difference between us who prepared constantly throughout the year and those people who just has read the books like crack ias in 30 days hai na market mein bahut milega ye books ias bano 30 din mein मतलब भाई आप आई बन रहा है है ना आई उसका फुल फॉर्म भी आपको थोड़ा बहुत ही पता होगा क्रैक प्रिलिम्स इन थर्टी डेज कैसे दिस को एंड वन मोर प्रायर पॉइंट दिस कोर्स इज ओनली गोइंग टू हेल्प दोस पीपल हु प्रिपेड रिगरेसली ऐसा नहीं कि अभी तुरंत अचानक आ गए तो सर अब प्रिलिम्स क्रैक करवा दो सो दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन सो देर शुड बी सम डिफरेंस राइट and these kind of questions will also be solved by those people who will apply the upsc examination just because it is only for 100 rupees hai na matlab mera bagal wale ghar mein neighbors mein ek ladki ne exam apply kiya to main bhi apply kar diya hai na my father's colleagues daughter and son are applying for upsc to mera dad ne bola तो मैं भी अप्लाई कर दिया यूपीएससी हाँ प्रिलिंग प्रिलिम्स अगर क्लियर करा तो देखेंगे दिस गाय इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू बिकम एन आई एस जस्ट आई एस बन के छोड़ने का मकसद था इसका मतलब दिस काइंड ऑफ एटीट्यूड पीपल जनरली है हाँ आई एस बनेंगे तो तब देखेंगे ना ज्वाइन होंगे कि नहीं है ना मेरा नेबर एक था ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपेरेशन मैं पूरा साल मेहनत करके इवन आई डोंट नो हाउ द सनलाइट वुड बी ओनली माई पिल्लो नोस माई टीयर्स माई डे वुड हैव बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हिंदू न्यूज पेपर एंड इंडेड विथ आंसर राइटिंग अगर आंसर राइटिंग के बाद भी वेन आई स्लीप इन माई ड्रीम्स ऑल्सो फर्स्ट बैटल ऑफ पानीपत इज कमिंग एंड रिपीटिंग मी अगेन इन माई ड्रीम्स देर वॉज नो फैंटेसी गर्ल और अ हीरोइन देर वॉज ओनली रजिया सुल्ताना भिक्षा बादम एंड आई डोंट नो वॉट हैज हैपन अरुणा असफ अली वॉज कमिंग इन माई माइंड कंप्लीटली इंदिरा गांधी प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन पोस्ट इंडियन कंसोलिडेशन अगर मैं कई टूर पे भी गया ना माई फ्रेंड्स हैव ऑप्टेड मी टू टेक टू हिल स्टेशन देर ऑल्सो आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग डेसीडियस फॉरेस्ट्री लाइक वॉट टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री इट इज जब भी मैं कई लेक के पास जाता हूं सोचता हूं कि इसको रामसार टैग है कि नहीं वेन एवर आई गो टू हिल स्टेशन आई थिंक अबाउट इट्स फॉर्मेशन वेन एवर शादी को जाते टाइम पे भी आई एम थिंकिंग दट इज दिस बॉय हैव गॉट डाउरी देन ही हैज टू बी बुक्ड अंडर सेक्शन फोर नाइनटी एट ए एंड वुड ही फोर्स्ड what type of marriage is is it in vedic civilization we might have had some marriages rakshas viva daiva viva so sitting there wo log shaadi ko bula hai ja ke khana kha lo gift de do photo nikalo aa jao but sitting there i am thinking about is this polygamy monogamy matlab itna mera dimag kharab ho ke mera life span mein main itna mehnat karke यूपीएससी एग्जाम लिख रहा हूं एंड मेरा नेबर कम सेंट से भाई मेरा भी कर दो थोड़ा एप्लीकेशन हंड्रेड रुपीज देता हूं मैंने बोला भाई तूने प्रिपेयर नहीं हुआ ना कैसे देगा एग्जाम अरे देंगे प्रिलिम्स क्वालिफाई होने के बाद देखेंगे we'll see means. मैंने बोलता हूं प्रिलिम्स कैसे भी तो क्वालिफाई तो होगा नहीं अरे लक में आ जाए तो मतलब ये पागल लक में बन रहा है ये है ना सो दो पीपल ऑल्सो कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन but people who have desperately given their blunder efforts failed many times society has criticized them many times you might have come across with this situation society might have criticized them number of times tu ias nahi banega we have to give them a long slapping answer right so for that to happen the next grade of questions should also be attempted एंड वो जो है हंड्रेड रुपीस वाला गर्लफ्रेंड अप्लाई किया तो मैं भी अप्लाई किया अप्लाई करके तो देखेंगे लक में आई बनेंगे तो तब पोस्टिंग लेने के बाद देखेंगे तो 
वो लोग को हटाने के लिए वी शुड बी समथिंग सपरेट एलोंग विद दम एंड दो सपरेट क्वेश्चन आर दिस ब्लॉक नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन इज लाइक स्टैटिक प्लस करेंट एंड वो लोग जो भी अप्लाई कर रहे हैं हंड्रेड रुपीज वाले दे कांट करेक्ट दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर श्योर नो डाउट एट ऑल बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट बी इन दट पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन टू को रिलेट बोथ दे कांट को रिलेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग विथ मानस नेशनल पार्क और कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग विथ बैरन आईलैंड इन इंडिया विथ अ वॉल्कनिक आईलैंड ऑप्शन नंबर वन बैरन आईलैंड इज एन एक्टिव वॉल्केनो ऑप्शन नंबर टू एक्टिव वॉल्केनोस आर जनरली फॉर्मड एलोंग द कन्वर्जेंट प्लेट बाउंड्रीज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बैरन आईलैंड हैज एरेप्टेड शोइंग इट्स एक्टिवनेस सो अबाउट टू स्टेटमेंट आर स्टैटिक the third statement is correct and the fool who is applying just because of 100 rupees wala he don't know where is barren island point number 1 if he knows barren island also he don't know is did it erupted or not because he did not read in the newspaper or any current affair magazine so finally he will be lost up with that particular question finally he will give a fluke to it but we who have dedicatedly prepared we will solve that particular question consider the following statement regarding with the kuno national park so kuno national park is located in madhya pradesh kuno national park earlier have protection of swamp deer species recently government has added a cheetah to this kuno national park so that particular person might be knowing about cheetah edition but that person don't know about the swamp deer presence over there that we know because we have knowledge we can compensate it so this kind of static plus current based questions those people who would be solving them those people who generally tend to solve this current plus static based questions they will rock the show they will rock the show for sure jo marzi man marzi aa jaye if these questions are being solved then we are maximum in next block 5 based question is interlinked questions from subject to subject generally 99 percentage of times the interlinking is going to happen between these that is geography environment ecology agriculture disaster management for example a question like consider the following statements regarding with the desert national park in india option number 1 desert national park is extended in two districts of rajasthan geography statement number 2 desert national park has no human habitation human geography statement number 3 desert national park has some important fauna which includes great indian bustard from environment geography plus environment related question are you getting this point 1 and 3 correct 1 2 3 correct 1 and 2 correct 1 2 3 correct or none of this this kind of options would be there so in this environment is being linked with geography consider the following statements regarding with volcanism volcanism which is an eruption of magma generally happens along convergent divergent and transform plate boundaries option number 1 option number 2 volcanism across the world is fixed at some locations first one is geography second one is geography geomorphology third due to volcanic eruptions sulfur dioxide and different gases would be released into the environment resulting into acid rain environment consider the following statement regarding with floods in india the floods generally occur along these particular regions and these regions are considered as zone 5 under the flood prone effect statement number 2 floods also do occur uh, the flash floods which do occur in uttarakhand 
are occurring because of glacial outburst and cloudburst. Statement number three. For flood management, construction of embankments along the banks of the river is the prior thing which we can do. So first two statements are from geography of flood. Third one is from disaster management of flood. Consider the following statements with the growth of cotton in India. Cotton effectively go, grows in those particular regions where rainfall is between 75 to 100 centimeter geography. Or paddy, if they have asked a question on paddy. Consider the following statements regarding with the paddy cultivation in India. So paddy cultivation in India happens along the alluvial soil belts in southern India for as a three crop season. And rice cultivation happens as a single crop season in the northwestern portion of India, around Punjab. And due to the utilization of rice and growth of rice, methane is being entering into the atmosphere. Environment plus agriculture. Due to the use of Indian coal, which of the following are the consequences seen? Indian coal has high moisture content, high ash content, less carbon content. That's why it is considered as non-coking coal geography. And that is releasing fly ash into the atmosphere, which is creating air pollution and smog-like conditions in Delhi. Smog towers have been established. So interlinking of economic geography with environment. So this particular aspect in these questions, wherever people shrine, chances are there, they are going to rock the show. They are going to rock the show. No doubt at all. Because many people can't make this interlinking to happen that easily. Are you getting this point? This is block number five. Block number six is some alien questions. Alien questions. Those questions which you don't know and I don't have any information. It is probability of a human, right? Human is a person who can take only a limited stuff. Ho sakta hai. Ki like we might not know about the highest peak of China. Yes or no? Hope so. We might not know that in the recent month, apart from Marine Trench, there was more deepest point which was located. We might not know all the 558 wildlife centuries. If we know all this, then Ministry of Environment Forest will call us for a job. Yes or no? Do you think you can remember all the 110 national parks, 75 Ramsar sites? Do you know what is the population of Uttar Pradesh? Do you know what is the amount of flowers present in Valleys of Flower National Park? What is the amount of tigers present in mangroves? Do you know the exact intensity of the earthquake recently which has hit? Do you know the exact borderline which Himachal Pradesh is sharing with Nepal? Do you know the exact line Uttar Pradesh is sharing with Nepal? So those things which we don't have information, which we thought which were not necessary which we have skipped, which might have been a skipped aspect. Those kind of questions are alien questions. And all the things which you don't know that doesn't fall under alien questions, those things which prioritizely people leave. Because like for that lots of memory wasting than that memory, it's better to revise modern history again. They think in that way. When did first battle of Tharin happened in history? 11, 1191. Second battle of Tharin, double one nine two. First battle of Panipat, fifteen twenty six. First ba second battle of Panipat, fifteen fifty six. Somewhere near closer. F battle of Plassey, seventeen fifty seven. Boxer, seventeen sixty four. Yet he gave. Yet he gave. Battle of Rakshasa Tangdi. When did first bat, uh, the battle of Rakshasa Tangdi has happened? When did first Anglo Sikh war took place? When did first Anglo uh, French war took place? Is this necessary for us? No. 
no it was not necessary so there are certain wars which have turned indian history one is 1191 the war which happened in first battle of tarain prithviraj chauhan and mohammad gauri second 1526 where power was transformed from afghans to moguls battle of plassey and buxar where power got transformed to britain 1857 revolt where britain has lost its existence ye theek hai what happened in 1837 Look. who knows it when swami vivekananda was born who knows it mera khud ka birthday kabhi kabhi main bhul jata hu uska kyu yaad rakhu wo swami vivekananda hai to maybe modern swami vivekananda yes or no why i have to praise him main to mera maa baap ko praise karta hu na swami vivekananda i'll follow that's it i will not praise because i am also swami vivekananda i am also a teacher i am also a preacher i am also a person who is getting socio religious reform movements i am the modern social religious reformer why i have to remember his birthday but there would be certain facts which you have to remember at least aisa nahi ki sab kuch yaad rakh liya kuch bhi nahi hai usme and in this alien questions chances are least ho sakta hai like we may not poke them it's better not to poke them agar hame pata nahi hai na uske bare mein better chhod do better chhod do but we will also try how i'll make you learn how to poke these questions also clear but with a intelligent guess that i'll make you learn with an intelligent guess and block 7 question factual information question ye bahut dimag kharab karega matlab कंप्लीटली दिमाग खराब होगा फैक्चुअल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बट देर इज ने रिमेंबर सम फैक्ट इन इट अभी जो मैं बता रहा हूं देर इज नो नेसेसिटी दट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दट रिसेंटली अराउंड महाराष्ट्र इन मुंबई ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी वन मैंग्रो फॉरेस्ट्रीज वेर कट फॉर अहमदाबाद एंड मुंबई बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट 24,000 mangrove cutne mein and 1000 mangrove cutne mein same intensity it is disturbing the ecological balance so wo figures zarurat nahi hai but <coughs> if they give you some mountain peaks and they ask you to arrange from north to south that you have to remember got this point everyone clear and eighth wala map based question as i have already discussed it with you map based question from geography environment so geography mein interesting kya karenge chhota indian map de denge ise and they will mark some locations the given points are given below match them or else they will give small world map and they will give oceanic currents by shading and they will be asking which of the following oceanic currents are shaded above or they will be marking one particular region they will shade this the shaded region is comprising with which type of soil or they will be shading certain regions and they will ask the shaded portion in the indian given map is resembling which of the following things so these kind of map based questions the eight based questions That's the reason why we have put it as Ashtang Mark. Ashtang Mark का मतलब है ये eight blocks को अगर आप tackle करेंगे and the success is yours. I don't say it as success. The responsibility is yours. Being a district collector is not success. Being district collector is taken responsibility. Got this point, everyone? so in this way prioritizely our course would be and with my help hope you can crack prelims very effectively exclusively with this geography and environment i'll make sure that approximately 80 percentage of the questions which appear in the paper would come from the discussions which we do within these particular sessions eight sessions for geography five sessions for environment total kul mila ke 13 Thirteen, हो सकता है और एक fourteen, okay, and I'll not waste much amount of your time. The reason behind it is like there is very less crunch of time. 
less space of time. That's why as much as we can within the given time space, the productive time that we are going to follow. Okay. Got this point? Everyone clear? Everyone clear with this? Done? So people who are at the live, you can just drop in the comment session or you can just send your queries with us and we will be helping you to solve anytime. Thank you for watching this. Have an awesome day. Jai Hind. ఎండు కొట్టినా